Before we get started, let me quickly show you the application we are going to build. This application is called Expresso and it's supposed to be used on your Android and iOS devices. This is basically a coffee shop application that we are going to create in Xamarin Forms. So if I run this application, then here you can see that we have a bottom tab page with three children's. The one is menu page, the second is reservation page and the third is info page or information page. Let's start with the menu page. Well, you can see that we have all the menu inside this list view. Well, this menu comes from the RESTful web API. And if we tap any specific menu from this list view, then it will redirect us to the sub menu page. And there you will get all the sub menu in this list view. You can see the detail of sub menu here. Well, the purpose of this application is to reserve the table because many times a lot of people go straight to the coffee shop and they have to wait for an hour because many times they can't find the table where they sit and drink some coffee. So we have made this easy by using this application. And here you can see that we have a reservation page and inside this page you can see some details here. Well, by providing that detail, the user can reserve the table easily. Let me add some of my details here. And let's suppose I want to take some of my friends along with me. Then all I need to do is just put here the total number of people. And then you can also pick the date and time because we need to tell the coffee shop team that in which date and in which time we need a table where we friends met and take a sip of coffee together. Alright. Once I press this button, then on the back end, the call goes to the RESTful web API and then we will get a pop-up that says, the table has been reserved successfully. Alright? And on the back end, particularly on Microsoft Azure, the coffee shop manager can see the record. Alright? Now let's talk about the information page. Well, on this info page, you will see the coffee shop contact information. Well, this information is not real. I have just used some raw information here. Here on this page, we can open the social media pages of this coffee shop. Suppose if I click this Facebook icon, then it will open the Facebook page of this coffee shop. Alright, let's go back to your application. And here, if I tap this phone icon, then it will open the smartphone dialer where we can call on this number for queries and suggestions. Well, that's the brief overview of this application. And there are a lot of other things that we will cover in this course. So, are you excited to build this application with me? I hope you are. Then, let's begin.